What is up peeps, Starlini Winnie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a topic that I feel very strongly about and that is the importance of exercise and strength training during pregnancy. If you hear a baby in the background, don't be alarmed, it's just my two month old. Two months, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's been two months already. Like, that's mind blowing. Anyway, before I do get into it though, I do want to make a disclaimer. I am by no means a health professional and everything I will be sharing in this video is based on the research I have done and on my personal experience. Always, always, always consult your doctor before starting any type of exercise routine while you're pregnant. I will be highlighting five key benefits that you will have if you exercise and you stay active or even strength train while you're pregnant. And as a mom of two kids, I can tell you that exercise has played a big role during my prenatal and postpartum journey. Number one, exercise and strength training can help in managing your weight during pregnancy. Gaining too much weight during pregnancy can lead to a lot of complications and two of them are gestational diabetes and high blood pressure. Staying active helps you maintain weight and also keeps you and baby healthy. I personally did walks and strength training with weights because I have been strength training for a very long time. My doctor always told me that strength training is especially safe if you have been working out before you were even pregnant. She mentioned that it would have been a little bit more of a concern if I had not been strength training before I was pregnant and then I all of a sudden decided to start lifting weights. So if you're pregnant and you want to start working out, but you didn't do it before you were pregnant, don't be discouraged. Just talk to your doctor and maybe it'll be a situation where you just have to monitor your body and make sure that everything is going fine. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, exercise during pregnancy can reduce the risk of gestational diabetes and preeclampsia. So you definitely want to lower that risk by incorporating exercise. Number two, staying active can decrease feelings of depression and or anxiety. Perinatal and postpartum depressions are very, very serious and should never be taken lightly. And I just want you to know that the endorphins that are released in your body when you exercise, they are natural mood lifters. In the article of Science Direct titled The Impact of Physical Activity Intervention of Perinatal Depression, where 5,084 women were included, they concluded that low intensity physical activity was associated with lower levels of depression in the prenatal stage. They also concluded that both low intensity and moderate intensity physical activity were beneficial to improve depression severity among women with postpartum depression. From a personal standpoint, I don't think I ever experienced perinatal or postpartum depression and exercise could have really played a role in that. Number three, exercise and staying active during pregnancy can help you produce a healthier baby. Regular exercise causes the placenta to grow faster, which causes better placental function. This means that blood flow, nutrients, and oxygen get delivered at a higher rate to baby. Regular exercise has shown to reduce the chances of having a baby with low birth weight and has also decreased the risk of premature labor. There was a meta-analysis conducted that took 99 studies that focused on the effects that exercise has on children that are in the womb whose mother exercised. After analyzing those 99 studies, they concluded that exercise during pregnancy reduces the risk of preterm birth and also reduces the risk of childhood obesity. If you are pregnant and you want a healthy baby and a child, do them a favor and go get some exercise in. Number four, exercise during pregnancy increases stamina and strength to prepare you for labor. And this is a no-brainer. We all know that labor can be very physically demanding and lengthy, especially if this is your first pregnancy. So it only makes sense that if you exercise regularly, you will improve your cardiovascular endurance, which means that in labor, you will maintain energy levels and stamina through it all. One thing that I really wanted to make sure to mention is pelvic floor strength. Making your pelvic floor muscle strong can help in maintaining the weight that your growing baby is applying to your bowels, to your bladder, and to your uterus. This can reduce your chances of urinary incontinence, which means urine leakage when pressure is applied to your bladder. And we all know that this happens when you cough or you sneeze or both. So ladies, take control of your pelvic floor strength so that you don't lose strength of your bladder. Number five, 
Maintaining regular exercise and or strength training can help you in giving you an easier postpartum recovery. Let's say you give yourself a break after you give birth for let's say a month or whatever the time is. Well, guess what? When you go back, it's going to feel like you never even stopped exercising. I am a testament to that. I actually stopped working out a month before I gave birth and then I gave myself another month after I give birth. And then whenever I went back to the gym, Although I did go down in weight so that I wouldn't go hard on my body, if I would have gone back to the same weight that I was doing before I stopped working out, I probably could have done the same weight if I'm being honest. And this is due to good old muscle memory. Muscles that have been strengthened and conditioned regularly go back to their same ability after taking a break. All right, well, that was the last one. Also know that these were only five reasons. Keep in mind that there are many other benefits to exercise during pregnancy. I really, really hope that you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.